Hi folks, Mike Pacelli here. Thanks for tuning into this lesson. I thought I'd start a new series and call it um, Very Useful Guitar Licks. Now, most of us know the pentatonic scale, and if you don't, because uh, I'll try to make these lessons just kind of casual and um, accessible to all levels of playing. So if, uh, if you don't know a, a pentatonic scale, it just means it's five notes. In the key of A, it would be... Um, <laughs> There's six notes there, but the two of them are octaves. So you got the root, the minor third, fourth, fifth, and a dominant seventh. And when you continue it up, there's a million licks on on you know just those pentatonic notes. Uh, there's guitar players who've made their entire career just playing those notes, but knowing how to play them. That's the secret. Uh, the first thing you should you should always think about, though, I I believe is that the flat five could be included in that and it makes it just more interesting and the flat five would be uh like on the uh, on the third string uh fret eight so you got lines like coming down here it is here on the fret uh, six of the a string you got and that includes the flat five Okay, but when you when you're when you're playing, you want to try to be as legato and keep things as rolling as possible. So here's the main lick I want to talk about today, uh, so, something like this. See now that's just pentatonic, but I I also included the flat five and I included the sixth of of the scale degree, which was F sharp. So I'm going. And, and it, it, it keeps you rolling, and, and, and if you want to continue that rolling action, I'll show you in a minute, it's, it's very easy. Because you got to be careful sometimes. You can, you can want to include a note in a lick, and then it kind of stops the flow of what you're playing, which you, you never want to do. You always want to be, be as fluid as you can. So that lick again. And, and, and licks like that, you can have an entire, uh, uh, like, 12 bars of a blues. Let's see how that goes. be better like this So just adding that sixth in there and the flat five makes that pentatonic thing sound, you know, I don't know, just a little hipper to my ear. And also when you when you do a roll thing like that, like if you want to continue going through the pentatonic, it's easier to roll through because there's no there's no stumbling block for your hand. So like something like that. And anytime you can, you're going to go down all the way on the pentatonic, and you're going to play, uh, get to the low A. Play an open A. Just you know, you, you can use your whammy bar and just get a little more soul out of it. So again, very slow that lick, you know. Uh, uh, I don't know. Did I do it right? It, 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 if you're going to continue in a different position of the uh, pentatonic scale, once you get that roll going, the... Uh, oh, sorry. You know, it just helps you to roll. So, so you got to be very careful when you do those things to make sure uh, you're, not, you're not playing something cool, but it's messing up with the, with the fluidity of what you're trying to play. Look at it. Just just has a nice roll kind of a very easy to do and has a nice smooth kind of roll. I like that a lot. And and just one more thing on on simple licks. You know, uh, you'll hear you'll hear licks like this. You hear that all the time. Now, 
everybody plays that lick and they, and they start on the seventh fret of the G string and they bend it up. So because it always gets bent up, maybe, maybe sometime don't bend it. Play it on the actual, on the ninth fret of the G string, like maybe slide into it. So you kind of get a sound like, and it sounds different there. Sorry. All right, instead of. I like that. One other thing on these little pentatonic uh, shapes. We always, like I just did, we want to bend that seventh up to the root, you know? Right? I always like to bend the sixth to the seventh. It seems like it's a little more vocal that way, if you go like this. Instead of just... And you can make a whole uh, chorus on that too. So there you go. Little licks like. And instead of bending the uh the uh, the uh, seventh fret of the uh, G string, slide it up. The time I did it on the flat five, and also bend the sixth because the sixth is I the sixth bent to the seventh, which is the F sharp bending to a G, is where a, so much soul is. While I'm thinking about it, one more thing to bend is the fifth to the sixth, which is also, you know, uh, kind of underused. If you take that, licks like that. That, uh, that helped a little and, uh, you know, fun for me to do. So, um, you know, I guess I'll put the charts up. So if you want charts and tabs of those, those you can get them. And if you'd like to drop me a line, do so at MikePacelli.com. Thanks for hanging out with me.